Welcome to the Savivi Knife Channel, guys. We Sorry. have background. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the Savivi Knife Channel. We have a fun video today for you guys. We're going to be going over a lot of prototypes and new things that we that you'll see at Blade Show West. So we got this, we got so much stuff. Blade Show is upon us. It's like right now as you're watching this video. Yeah, we're going to be releasing this video the day before, day before or the day of. So you're see, you're seeing this as you can walk into the show and see this stuff in, live and in person. So this is exciting. It's, it's exciting stuff. We got, uh, like Kyle said, brand new prototypes that are not available that will be released throughout the year. And then we have a handful of new products that will be available just in the next couple of months. And at the show, you have a chance to buy some of the product that is not available um, and is coming soon. So first t chance to purchase some of this stuff. Is yeah. there? First time touching, first time purchasing. So yeah, yeah. Hope you're at the show, guys. <laughs> Let's get into it. Which one should we go over first? We go can over we, Can we start with the? Go over. Can we start with the elephant in the room? Yes. That's that's gonna be this guy right here. Holy cow! <laughs> We got this. We got this little design from uh, Torbay Knives, uh, which is super cool, you guys. Little design. This little design. <laughs> look at that. I mean, wow. That's... Look at the fuller in that. Is that a fuller? Yeah, you're. <laughs> it's I don't so know what big. To call it's so big. It's more of a channel. Um, it's just. It's just massive. Um, guys, this thing is a. Uh, Production version of one of Torbay Knives designs. Um, it's a. Let's grab this other one. I, I, I don't. I I'm not sure what to call it exactly. It's a it's a hatchet hawk axe, um, ulu cleaver masterpiece. The all black is is. It looks looking. mean. Yeah. And the, so you do have a couple different hand positions you can put this in, right? Have your finger through right here for a nice grip right here and or right here. I don't know if I do two hand, but either way, dude, there's endless possibilities. You got a lot of blade here. This is D2 blade still. Um, the G10 handle or the G10 scales on here are contoured and textured really beautifully. Um, you've got a nice impact edge on the bottom right there for any smashing um, purposes that you needed to do. Um, great vehicle knife, something to put in for to take camping that you can, uh, you know, take down a tree, split some firewood, and then uh, and then take it in and use it in the kitchen, right? Yeah, use it up to chop your onions up. Yeah, because yeah, you can definitely get up on there and you know start chopping. Yeah. So That's guys, fun. this one's this one's really fun. You're gonna want to take a look at this at the show. Yeah, and this is a prototype, so there could be some design changes going forward. It'll, it'll likely be almost what we see here. Usually when we get the prototype phases the, um, in hand and we take them to a show, they're very, very close to what production will be, but the materials and colors sometimes change, that kind of a thing. Um, the Kydex sheath on this is incredible. Um, as always, the Kydex that Civivi does is, um, it's always a super, super solid lockup um, and uh, form fitting and, and just works really, really well. Yeah. So, this is a fun one, guys. Then we also have another Tori design. We do. This one's gonna be a little more pocket friendly. Little, little <laughs> pocket friendly. <laughs> Guys, this is still a big knife. <laughs> but yes, uh, it's not nearly the size of, uh, uh, what was the, the other one called? The Kelvin? The, the Kelvin. And this one's the, called the Maxwell. Okay. Um, again, another uh, big fuller on that blade right there. Beautifully designed scales on the handle. Got that same edge on the um, pommel there, and big heavy jimping on top right there. Oh, this is another another fun design. I, I just love Torbay stuff. No, it looks clean, and this one's definitely going to be a nice working knife if you want to call it that. You do have a double grind right here, kind of like a Tonto, mm -hmm. but I don't see. Do you see a different grind right here? No, just it's a flat ground. Just flat ground all the way right? through. Yeah. So it is super clean. Yeah. And this one does come with a taco kydex sheath. So it is a little different from the kydex sheath that we saw in the Kelvin, where that one's sandwiched. But this one will be taco, but still has a really nice lock. Super solid. Um, this one right here, I, I like how the shape of the kydex right there fits your thumb. Yeah. So you can you can push that right off. And get into action. Feels really good. 
Listen, yeah. to, that, listen to that walkout, man. That's loud. So clean. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fixed blade action. More fixed blade action. What's this one called? Tough Knives is the designer. Alter. The Alter FB. So I wonder, yeah, what that, I wonder what that stands for. Yeah, I'm curious. We're gonna we're gonna have to ask him. So yeah, this is a tough nice design. Uh, Jeff Blauvelt. It. I don't know what to say. Most of you can see on all of his designs. You can you can see a nice big belly on a lot of his blades and a little bit smaller handle. But in reality, it's just a really fun piece to get something that's made by Civivi, so still really good quality. But get one of his designs. Yeah, it's nice compound grinds on the blade. A lot of a lot of um, cool visual stuff going on there. Um, it's gonna feel the handle um, on these feels very similar to uh, the handles on the Tamashi. That same kind of material um, yeah. and polish feel that you have on there. If you're familiar with that, got a nice little uh, small finger choil here that you can get up onto that blade and use there. Um, so yeah, really, really fun, cool design from Tough Knives that you can see at the show as well. And again, these are prototypes and uh, not available for sale, but uh, will be coming out later this year. All right, now we'll get into some folders. There's a lot of different folders. Yeah. What do you want to start with? Start right here or go right here? Go ahead. Let's go right here. This one is designed by Gustavo. I'm going to probably murder the name. Gustavo. Go ahead. Chini. I never know how to pronounce his last name. I don't think that's quite right, but uh, right. Sacchini. Sacchini, maybe. Anyway, anyway, this is the new Supersonic. This is also prototypes, uh, full stainless steel construction with a what is it? Fourteen C twenty, blah, blah. fourteen C twenty and blade steel. Right, so we've got uh, G10 inlays on here. It's a full four finger grip plus a little bit extra for uh, somebody with really big hands. Um, nice reverse Tonto blade on there and a really cool fuller on the top that you can use for a middle finger flick. Um, I like the design aspect of that right there. It's, it's a unique looking fuller on the blade right there. Yeah, no, it definitely has a lot of Gustavo's design aspects to it as it should, right? Uh, what do we got? This one actually has some of the milled, kind of like milled pocket mm -hmm. clips, so that's kind of fun to see on a Civivi. It is. And it, again, it's a stainless steel frame, so n not titanium, but still a milled uh, pocket clip on there. And, um, nice frame lock from Civivi. I missed that one. So come check it at the show. Alright, nice. what else we got at the show? I know you'll like this one. I love this one. <laughs> this one is the... What is this? The Laconico... Yeah, the name. The <laughs> Sokoke? Sokoke. But it's designed by Ray Laconico, guys. So you know you're going to get a nice sleek design. He makes a lot of sleek knives with the fr and incorporating a front flipper in there, right? With yeah. the thumb stud, the front flipper, and making it work really well. It's nice and lightweight with a lot of blade to it. Um... And it's a nest, uh, 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 yeah, nested uh, liner lock. So it's uh, nice and thin on the handle. And we've got a recessed pocket clip, which is nice and reversible for all you lefties out there. Recessed and reversible. Ooh. And uh, this one is is uh, has a map price right about sixty five bucks. So yeah, so you'll be able to get that cheaper once at retailers. Yeah. This is, a, this is a nice one. This is a winner. Um, very similar to the Wii Esprit yes. that was released um, not too long ago from on the Wii line um, by uh, Laconico as well. So this is this is pretty cool. Um, I love, and I love this uh, uh, Course Micarta. So um, uh, hopefully that's a version that we see. We probably will. Yeah, that's clean. Yeah. All right. What else you got? Keep going. We're just kind of blowing through these because these will have their separate videos when we do release them like actually as well as when you see them at Blade Show, you'll be able to see them and touch them. You will be able to see them when you see them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we don't have all of the official specs as they are prototypes. So we, like uh, like Kyle said, we'll go over all of these knives in detail um, just before they end up being released later in the year. 
yeah. or next year. So we got two more prototypes that will be showing at Blade Show. This one's designed by Ostop Hell, so another awesome design by Ostop. This one's called the Foldis. And it's a slippy. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a detent slippy. Double detent. Yeah, so you got that yeah. detent. It is like a front flipper. Yeah. Front flipper kind of reminds me of the, what's that? Other one that we did that's similar, similar locking mechanism. Um, we did an Appalachian Drifter. Um, yeah. With the double detent. So what that means is on the on the blade there, you've got you've got some little cutouts in the liner that have tension on them, and they pinch the blade and and with little ball detents. And then when the blade moves, it causes those springs yeah. to move a little bit, and it gives you that that tension on the blade. Look at that. So that when it when you push on it, it kind of has enough detent to flip back into place. Don't have your finger in the way. Don't put your finger in the way. Mm -hmm. But it's a really nice design um, and a wire pocket clip that is reversible. So a nice deep carry pocket clip. I like the, the clip design. That one you can actually see a little better on this uh, yeah. copper version. Huh? Kind of going across that bronzed mm -hmm. copper finish. Yeah, small, this is a small, it's gonna be a smaller knife. So it's gonna, gonna be sweet for your, like, your everyday carry type deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you like the front flipper, nice sleek designs. I think a lot of these are going straight to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, I, I really like the lightweight um, here. And then the copper version uh, just feels premium. You get a little bit of heft to it. It's a lot more that, that copper and uh, it uh, feels really nice. And then with that wire clip, it is going to be reversible. It is. So yep. it's a plus side for the lefties, especially since this is a, you know, the double detent. There's no liner lock or frame lock getting in the way. So. 100% ambidextrous on this guy. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. Last one. You got a lot of knives sitting over there. Yeah, they're piling up. <laughs> Last one. I was really stoked for this one. Yeah. Because I've been following Gavco for a long time. So this one's the Spiny Dogfish. Look at that, guys. Look how cool that is. This one's, yeah. So like I said, this is going to be a new collaboration with Gavco Designs. And it has a lot of his aspects into this Sabibi knife. Some nice sculpting on the G10 and micarta uh, scales. I love the sculpting on there. That's, that's one of my favorite styles. And on, on the micarta, it's really cool. Yeah. And then you have a lot of different grind happening in his knives. I mean, just like his customs, right? You have what? We have one, two, three, four different grind lines. Yep. And we've, we've got that reverse Tonto. And it's a middle finger flick only yeah there's no there's no flipper tab there's no thumb studs so um that so it, it works really really well um but uh, that's the definitely get your thumb in there if you want, didn't want to push your yeah. thumb in there yeah that's true you can you can use that thumb hole for your thumb hole it's a thumb hole <laughs> <laughs> you can use it for your thumb as well but uh, no flipper tab no thumb stud um opens fantastic carries really well um from you know what we have seen sticking it in our pocket here in the studio but uh, again exciting design yeah i'm stoked for this one you might see this in my pocket at blade show and this one's got a listed as a with a map price of 60 bucks so we expect to see it in that range and uh 14 c28 and blade still on this guy is on on the prototype so and likely but not guaranteed that's what it will be sweet then we have a few other, well, I'm going to put these over here so you're not crowded. A few other models that will be coming out in the next couple of months um, that we'll be able to check out at Blade Show as well. Yes, these are, so this is this is exciting stuff for the show because these models right here are already scheduled to be released in November and we do have some of them at the show available for sale. So it's the first time that you can get those. You can get them before they're available anywhere else. All right. So we have... A Ooh. super exciting one. This is so fun. Guys, this is the mini Praxis. <laughs> and why is this so fun? Why do you like that so much? The, the Praxis has been around for what? We're talking plus a year now. Plus, uh, it's, it was one of the very it's first of, designs yeah. from Civivi. So and that's a larger that. knife. But yeah. So now you can kind of have the family in it. And now we have the mini Praxis. I found the original Praxis. So we can have a size comparison here. Look at it. Oh my gosh. A couple of little differences. Um, 
on this particular version, uh, a blacked out pivot, which I really like, um, the lanyard spacer or the back spacer has been removed and um, yep. replaced with just a barrel, just the barrels. Yep. And now it does have a recessed pocket clip. Yes, on I did the mini. notice that. Yes. So this one is completely recessed, so you get, it's flush. I don't know if we can see that here. You can definitely check it out on some close-up pictures, hopefully, in the future. But, yeah, this is super flush, similar to the baby banter. If, if we're doing a size comparison, this is this is uh, fairly close to the size... I thought I had one. It's to the size of the Elementum. There we go. So very, very similar to the Elementum. Um, guys, here's the here's the thing. This is a D2 blade steel, G10 handle. Um, we've got the stainless steel skeletonized liners, cage ceramic ball bearings, deep carry, recessed pocket clip. And guys, the map price on this thing is going to be $30. What the? That's crazy. Okay. This is, this is probably, so the Elementum previously at Blade Show won the Best Buy of the Year award. Um, I, I think we have a new contender. Oh, for sure. <laughs> because Please. because um, this thing right here was designed and given a price. Um, basically, so the original Praxis w um, is fairly reasonable as well yeah, when you, when you buy that. as a $60 range. E even, even less but than that for the full-size knife. Yeah. Um, and so going a little bit smaller, we brought the price down a little bit. Um, this is one of the ways that we like to, to, you know, sometimes just release something at a price and a value that just give, takes away all of your excuses, right? If you've never tried a Civivi before, there is no reason not to try this knife, okay? 30 to $35 on this thing, and it is a winner. It it's feels good. Mm -hmm. it's, going, it's a good knife. So, yeah, super, there it is. Super stoked for that one. I'm excited to see all the other like flavors that we come out with as well. I'm as well. Um, there's going to be, like always, several different colors and versions that are available. And uh, we'll have a few of those available at the show. And these things are going to sell lightning fast when they hit dealers um, due to that price point. So, do not delay on the mini Praxis when that hits the dealers. All right. Yeah. All right. So, that's that one. Another one that deserves a lot of love. Oh, okay. Look at the colors. Isn't that great? Um, arriving in November, just in time for you to pick up for Christmas gifts. Ooh, and the red just fits so perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, love it. Um, ben Peterson designed Baby Banter in the Civivi line, um, coming out at the same time as the Big Banter in the Wii line in November. Um, so nothing has changed on this but the color. And man, look at that. The black with the, the white and the red. Love that. It's the details, right? Because you have the black thumb studs, the black pocket clip, and then the red screws, and then the red blade, right? So there's just yeah. all these like combinations that just fit so well. Anyway, so super cool new variation for the Baby Panther. All right, available mid-November. Also coming mid-November and available at the show is the Ostop Hill designed Clavi. This one got a lot of attention at Blade Show in Atlanta when we debuted it. Yeah. Um, because it's unique, it's super, super slim. Um, the action with that th thin uh, pokey blade, it just pops right out. This is a coarse micarta version. Um, we've got a few different colors that it will be available in as well. Um, a reversible recessed pocket clip that looks like a pen. Yeah, it does right? look very sleek. It's a very sleek So when you, you stick that in your pocket and it's gonna look like a pen, but it's a nice little pokey. Nice little pokey knife. <laughs> this is a nice, with that super, that's a very aggressive sheet foot or ward clip blade that you'll get out of this one. So make sure you stop by and see this guy and pick up some of the new versions yep. that we'll have available. And we got one more new one, huh? We do. We have the cachet. Did I get that right? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, I should know this one because it's coming out in November. But this is the cachet. Um, it's going to be available in a few different color variations as well. You can see those on our website. It's uh, already up on the coming soon. Um, I like this with the ivory colored G10 inlay and a uh, nice new texture pattern on that as well. Yeah, that frag pattern is really cool. Gives yeah. some cool texture to it. And honestly, it gives some good grip to it as well, like when you have it in your hand. So it does. Um, we've got a, on this one, it's a 14C28M blade steel, um, a reversible pocket clip. This is a bolster lock um, or 
subframe lock. What do you call it? Yeah, sub or Bolster. bolster. It, Either one. It's de it's debatable. You guys can de <laughs> you can debate it in the comments if you would like. But uh, great design here with the fuller and the flipper to to open. Um, works either way and we will have a video on this and the other knives that are going to be released to give you all of the specifications and details as it's released in November. But again, we will have a handful of those available at the show. And the last thing from Civivi at the show, we have a limited edition serialized Utah edition of our best selling knife ever the CVV Elementum, we have a Blade Show West Utah edition. Uh, there are 30 of these knives that we will have at the show and they are so serialized. So if that's your jam, if you need a collector's piece, make sure you grab one of those quick. For sure, this is sweet. I mean, you get, it's fun that we did the, the Utah with the arch on there. So yeah, there's only 30 of these. So get them while you can. Yep, little commemorative piece um, to your visit to Utah. Or if you're a Utah native like us, then uh, Something to show off your Utah pride. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's a, I know that's a lot of stuff and we went over it really quick, but come and see us at the show and you get to handle all this stuff in person and uh, leave us questions in the comments. If you have any questions about this stuff, um, we'll do our best to answer it. A lot of the stuff is new coming out later in the year and the beginning of next year, but um, we'll do our best to answer your questions. So thanks for coming along for the ride. We're excited to see you guys at the show. See you guys.